There's been a new update to Hypixel Skyblog, adding stackable god potions, mixing reworks, enchantment book changes, and much more. I'll be covering that in today's video. So, the first thing that I mentioned, stackable god potions. If I type slash effects, you can see I currently do not have a god potion on. So, if I right click this, as you might know, you get it for 24 hours if you have alchemy 50. And now if I type slash effects, you see 24 hours. Let me grab a second one, a second god potion out of my sack, right click it again, and it grants it for another 24 hours. And if I go into my effects, I have 48 hours worth of god potions. Normally, if you have a 24 hour one, or just any sort of one, doesn't matter on your alchemy level, it would reset it. So say mine was 24 hours, I drink another one, it would just reset to 24 hours, it wouldn't go up by 24. So yeah, now they stack, so you don't have to waste any time. Also, the amazing change of this, if I go to my island, I type slash effects, you can see the timer is not going down because it is paused when you're on your private island. Now you can AFK and not lose out on time on your god potions. That is honestly an amazing change. Also, mix-ins have been changed. So once you buy them, you can now right-click them to consume. So there we go, I've right-clicked it. I have three days of my mix-in. And the good thing is, if my god potion expires, the mixing will pause, so you don't lose out on that extra 24 hours after your god potion ends. So if I type slash effects now, you will now see the mixing appears as the mixing texture. So that is pretty awesome. Also, another main thing, you can also filter god potion effects, so it won't show the mixing here, or non-god potion effects, such as night vision, and then just mixins. The next main thing is enchantment books. So if we go into any collection that has an enchantment book or used to, just like Dark Oak Collection 7, as you can see, it now says growth XP discount minus 25% instead of unlocking the book recipe. So basically, if I get an armor piece without any growth on, and if I go put it into the enchantment table, select growth, if you look at growth 5, as you can see, it normally costs 50 XP levels, but right now it costs 38. There is also now an upgrade to the bone necklace, requiring 8 thorn fragments. So if you put the bone necklace in and surround it by thorn fragments, as you can see, it upgrades. There we go. And unfortunately for now, you cannot put the upgraded version in your museum, but I'm sure they will fix that soon. Another cool change, if you to the wizard and use your dimensional infusion for free you can then once you go back to the hub you can see when your next infusion is so as you see at the bottom it says my next free infusion is in three hours 20 minutes so there is now a timer also some other missed changes the enderbow's ability cooldown has been reduced from 45 seconds to five seconds the explosive bow can now be used in dungeons and acts the same as super boom tnt the souls rebound venom touch and spider queen singer bow can now be converted into dungeon items using spider essence and also void swords can now be converted into a dungeon item using dragon essence. There are two new tutorial commissions to the Dwarven Mines when you first start off your journey here. They've also changed Powder Gust. The despawn timer has been changed, so now it resets every time you hit it. Instead of hitting it loads of times and it just disappears, so you have more of a chance to get the beast theory up now. And for the garden, Beth, if you've completed her storyline and gotten the Jake Talisman, she will now reappear in the garden, but she will offer you crops just like every other visitor. Poison samples have been added to the bazaar, which you get from Toxic Rain Slime. Polar Void books have been added to the bazaar also, which you get from the Rift. The Royal Resident also now unlocks in the garden after you earn the cake from him. So you do need to complete the Royal Resident questline by getting the cake. You can now also salvage the Neverack looking sunshade for Crimson Essence, Pick a Nimbus for Diamond Essence, Handy Blood Chalice for Dragon Essence, Pocket Especial Machine for Dragon Essence, Treasure Talisman for Gold Essence, Glacial Talisman for Ice Essence, Tarantula Talisman for Spider Essence, and Scarf Studies for Wither Essence. Also, some mythic pet prices have changed in jewels. They now sell for more or less coins. Also, a nice quality of life change. B now has a B friend next to them in the pet house. Also, the last change, if you own a co-op and you share the auction house. So, if your co-op member has some expired items and you also have an expired item, instead of saying you have loads of expired items, instead of going into each one, clicking collect because you don't want to collect your co-op member's one, there is now a button to claim your listings only. So if I do this, as you can see, it only claimed my one item. So nice quality of life feature. Thank you for watching. If this did help you out, please like and subscribe. Join my Discord, join my guild, slash gjoinacquaemoji, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.